All right, so you'll see this the dahlias I put in with the citronella and the lemongrass. They filled out really nicely in these containers, so I'm happy about that. That works out well this year. This is the cattle panel. So we tried to put baby tomatoes that we found that were volunteers, but you can see like they're just struggling. And even last year my tomatoes were struggling. So I read that if you had blight, you have to wait three years to plant tomatoes in the same area again. So we will not be planting tomatoes here for the next few years. And you'll see where the tags are where I ripped tomatoes out. So I ripped out two here, two here, and two at the end. And I ripped out one somewhere in the middle. We ripped out one from an earth box, and I ripped out one from the green stalks. And even like the basil got this spittle bug on it. It looked like spit, which I had last year on some things. It was on everything this year. I did plant seedling seeds in the green stalks. What happened here? I'm already losing stuff. But the green stalks got blight. We really got hardly any potatoes. Just the one tomato that's left, two tomatoes that are left. I don't know what's gonna happen. Some radish seeds I put in. The Tulsi basil did well. It seems like the herbs did really well in here, but like the potatoes did not do well. There's some peas I did. Some radish, they look kinda leggy. I don't know what's gonna happen. Again, this is like an experiment, so. Time will tell. Got some string beans started, some calendula that seeded itself, some kale. So I'm hoping that that stuff does a little bit better. We'll see. Keep me updated on what you guys harvested this year. And that's it for today. Signing off.